Hi, I'm Andy Ditchfield and welcome to Early Doors, a series of short videos designed to give you something to mull over as you start your weekend. Today I'm going to show you how to compare two versions of the same file. So now we'll be in that we've sent this away to HR, they've made some changes, but they've not told us what's changed and we need to identify that so we can let other users know. So what I've got is I've got two files in memory, I've got the original and the revised version. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to combine them onto a single file. So in my revised, I'm going to right click, move or copy, and I'm going to put it into the original file and put it at the end. Okay, so now my original file has just got two tabs on. I quickly save that a check file. And then what I'm going to do to that, I'm going to add another tab. Press the control key, left mouse button, drag to the right. Rename that check. On the three tabs themselves, I want an additional column. So I'll just type in check there. Type that once in the check tab. From the top, control shift end takes me to the bottom. I don't want to put anything in the final column. I'll show you why in a second. So just in terms of the data that's there, I just want to compare the data one to the other. So I just want to say equals the original A2 I just want to equals because I want to identify the ones that have changed control and enter to put the former in and as you see we've got for instance this one in cell E5 is a false and that's because in the original it says accounting like assistant 1 and in this it's accounting assistant 2 on the check tab what I want to do is to add up the amount of falses, so the number of change records that we've got on the tab. So I want to just put a formula in there to count how many falses there are. So that's a count if, I like the range, comma, and my criteria is false. So that one's had no changes, so that's zero. So our row five has a one in there. I want to change this into trues and falses because I want it all the same. So I want it all conditional. So just to that, I'm going to say equals zero. So now we get falses in row five and in row 23, etc. Now if we select all the data by pressing control A, we can look for each of the cells which has got false in there. So that's control F find and we want to find false and we want to find every instance of that. Now once you've done that you can select all those cells again by pressing control A but if we do that what it does it selects everything in column H and that's because we've got a false in our formula. So we want to just look at those cells where the value is false from any formula. So if we do find all again, and now press Control A, it highlights each cell on the file. So if we now just color those yellow, then what it's done is just go to the top and go down. It's just highlighted everything which has got a false flag. Now we'll copy that entire format to the original tab and I should double click that but never mind and to the revised tab so now original that was a change on row 23 and it's highlighted on the revised tab as well that's fine but what I really want to do is I want to compare both the sheets together so I can see the two in tandem. So what I need to do is open up another version of the same file. And you do that in the view new window. And what that's done now is place two workbooks, version one and version two in memory. The new version it's brought up, it loses the data titles. So if I go into my original, you see the titles are set up in D2. So in my second file, D2, and I'm going to set up my titles. So, and now in my original file, 
I want to compare the two side by side. So there's an option, View Side by Side, again on the View tab. And what I have now, I've got version 1 and version 2 side by side. And the default is that they scroll in tandem. And because I've set it up from being at the very top, when I scroll one worksheet, they both scroll together. Okay. What we also did by installing that final column is we can now filter that by the yellow. For both of them, and that will give us a list. So our original on the left, revised on the right, with everything highlighted where there have been changes between the two files. So the great advantage of this is you can look at two versions of the same file at the same time. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up beneath the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave me a comment. My contact details will appear when the beer is poured. Cheers.